Hi YouTubers, I was asked to do a video uh, by request and this was asked by uh, Bree 80056 Thank you Bree, I will um, do this for you while I have time before I head off to church This is, she asked me to do a uh, upload because she wants to do more study into it um, about, she wants to debunk it basically about the buffoonery of the, the church um, of Oprah okay so um, Oprah always proclaimed that she 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 proclaimed the faith of Jesus Christ but which Jesus Christ that she's talking about and I know you'd be like it's only one Jesus Christ well let me explain to you guys for decades Oprah Winfrey has proclaimed the faith in Jesus Christ yet when one examines Oprah's Jesus he is not the same Jesus found in the New Testament Oprah's Jesus is not God in the flesh, but merely a good man. He is a non-condemning and tolerant of alternative lifestyle. In short, her Jesus is a new age Jesus. In recent weeks, Oprah has conducted a series of internet broadcasts um, extolling the virtues and philosophies of her spiritual mentor, um, Eckhart Tolle, T-O-L-L-E, or Tolle. Uh, Mr. Tola Tolley um, is a New Age teacher and author with two best-selling books, The Power of Now and a New Earth. Excerpts um, of Oprah's interview with Tolley can be seen on YouTube.com. Okay? Um, there is nothing particularly new about um, his teaching. His website states, the work of... Eckhart teachings is in response to the urgent need of our time, the transformation and conscience, consciousness, and the arising of more enlightened humanity. In addition to supporting Eckhart Tolle and the um, dissemination of his teaching, we are committed and dedicated to serving the new consciousness and awakening of all humans on the planet behind the external form of what we do and behind the business structure lies the company of our true purpose and the union of um, union with the divine at the core of the teaching lies the transformation of consciousness and spiritual awakening that he sees as the next step in the human revolution evolution one moment um, Kennedy can you go in there and tell London to turn the fire down on my rose please uh -huh. turn it all the way down sorry you guys I just didn't want to start it over. Okay, the core of his teaching life, the transformation of consciousness, a spiritual awakening um, that he sees as the next step in the human evolution. An essential aspect of the awakening cons uh, consists of transcending our ego-based state of consciousness. This is a prerequisite uh, not only for personal happiness, but also for the ending of violent conflict economic on, um, academic sorry, on our planet. This is the same um, gobbledygook that new ages have been churning out for the past 30 to 40 years. Now, for those not familiar with the new age movement, it is, it is essential Eastern religion um, methodism uh, adapted to Western culture. New age believers, um, new age belief in a supreme power of some, some kind but very somewhat as to what it is. To them, God is not a person, a being or a personality, but simply a force. Uh, most New Agers are pessimistic. That is, they believe that God is nature itself, like the tree is God and, and the flower is God and, you know, different stuff like that, okay? Since, a matter, since, since matter is made up of energy and energy is uh, equivalent to spirit, the matter becomes divine. Man is composed of matter which has energy or spirit. So mankind is actually divine. A part of whatever God is, um, of course, Western culture and the Bible in particular have, have blinded man to the, his true divine nature. Enlightenment of mankind realize that we are all a part of God. Then peace will prevail throughout the world and humanity will be uh, conscious uh, consciousness. Uh, will be uh, able to evolve to the next level, uh, la level of consciousness. Does this all sound familiar to you? The hippies of the 1960s believed and thought this 
as they reject the social um, social town norms of explore Eastern myth um, mythicism. The same hippies have cut cut their hair, developed um, discover soap, and now are running many of our institutions from um, from government to universities to businesses. Notice a portion of the Wikipedia. Uh, definition of New Age. The New Age movement includes elements of older spiritual and religion traditions from both East and West, many of which have been mended, uh, melded the idea from modern science, particularly for, uh, psychology and uh, ecologically. Uh, ecology, I'm sorry. New Age ideas could be described as drawing inspiration from all major world religions with influences from spiritualism, Buddhism, um, um, Hermetism, Hinduism, um, so um, Zoroastrianism, sh Shamism, um, uh, ceremonial magic, um, um, Surfism, uh, Teoism, the New Thought, Wicca, and the Neo Paganism being es um, especially strong. Okay, let me just check my time frame on here, you guys. Let me see. Okay, I'm good. Okay, notice two things. First, um, I'm sorry. Notice two things. First, um, um, psychology and ecologically has been hijacked, and they're no longer strictly sciences. Large, large a portion of these disciplines compromise t uh, religious teaching. A young person with the interest of um, psychology and ecologically may attain a university, thinking that they are getting an education. Um, uh, thinking they are getting an education when they are really receiving. It, what they really are receiving is a religion indoctrination. Of course, the material um, is presented as science, and as such, should never be questioned. When in fact it is religious, any young person without a form and uh, without a firm conviction in the truth will find themselves unknowingly disciples of this new cult. Okay, so uh, contrary to what told ex spouses, New Age doctrine appeals to the ego. Only those few who have achieved enlightenment will evolve to the next level of consciousness. There are little, there are a little better. They are a little better than the rest of us. Contrast that, contrast that attitude with the Bible, which was given to all men to understand. John 3:16, Ephesians 3:4, First Timothy 2, um, 3 through 4, and um, second. Notice that all the religions mentioned there are no reference to the Bible or Christianity. That's because the one true God is jealous, Exodus 20 and 5 and Deuteronomy 4 and 24, and will not tolerate any <coughs> false religion. Therefore, false religions feel compelled to um, marginalize or reject him. Let's consider three basic points relative to the New Age religion. God is is um, distant from nature, okay? That's pantheism, says that, the nature, that nature itself is God, but the Bible says that God is a... Um, a distance from nature. It is God. It it is God who created the universe and all the laws acceptable um, to it. Notice how Genesis first begins and ends. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Then God saw everything that He had made, and indeed, it was good. Genesis first one and thirty one. When Paul came to Athens, he preached to the people who were completely ignorant of God. He said, "For as I was passing through." And considering the objects of your worship, I even found an altar with the um, inscription to the unknown God. Therefore, the one whom you worship without knowing him, I can proclaim to you God who have made the world and everything in it. Since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in the temples made with hands, nor is he worshipped with man's hands as though he need, needed anything since he gives to all life, breath of all things. Acts 17, 23-35. There are perhaps portion of two generations who have been removed, uh, removed God from the knowledge and the consequences of such are clear in Romans 1, 18-32. Now it's a little bit more on here, you guys, but i must, I'm got to check my time frame to make sure I'm not running out. And I have approximately about five minutes left. But, and I'm trying to see how much reading there is because there is three points to this, okay? And then you got um, God is um, a descent um, is a descent from man, and then you got truth is the objective, and then you got the pre-scientific statements, historical accuracy, and continuality, okay? And this is all what the New Agers do. 
what I want to do is tell you to go to this website. Okay, this is called www. I'm sorry, w. I'm trying to go all the way up to the page. I'm sorry, it's going so slow. www. dot La Vista Church of Christ. Okay, and um www.lavistachurchofchrist.org and it should have um, a order you should go on the articles and you're going to see it's by Dan Gatlin okay and it's the church of April um, I said the church of April Lord forgive me the church of Oprah because um, I do know about um, she is just so fake and all about and she give all honor to Jesus Christ, but you know it's about the New Age, the one that accepts um, a lot of things that the Bible clearly um, says we should be against. And she says more than one way to to um, to God. You don't have to stay on one um, row. It's for other um, genres where you can reach God. But we all know the road to salvation is narrow, and the road to destruction is wide. So you know, just go on that and know. Uh, what's what and keep let's keep it real people um, so what I got to do now is go finish cooking I have to get ready for church because this is the way I do because when I'm at home I'm relaxed I don't have nothing to do but when I'm going out and about yeah Miss Angie don't tend to look like this okay so um, let me just let you know um, but I did do that um, Miss Bree Bree and I got that out for you and this is about the church of Oprah um, I just want to say peace and blessings and thank you for um, sending that request. And if you have any requests, I do try to send it. I do have a couple more requests I'm working on. I have not forgot about you guys, about the one about forgiveness and um, other things that some people want me to look at or listen to. I do do it, and, um, and I need to get back to you guys to let you know I'm doing it. It's just that I'm trying to do so many things at one time. So I just want to let you know peace and blessings be unto you and to everything you do. Go with God as he goes with you. Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye.